Now here's a great problem, one of my favorites, that will teach you a very valuable lesson. It certainly taught me a very valuable lesson, and I can still remember trying to solve this problem for hours and not being able to do it, and then having this great sense of enlightenment when I finally gave up and looked up the solution. So let me draw something on the board and then tell you what the problem is. Here we go. All right, so suppose you have an eight by eight grid of squares, something like a chessboard, and that the two opposite corners are removed, like this. And that you have, so now you have 62 squares, and you also have 62 divided by two, 31, wooden rectangles that can cover two adjacent squares. And your job is to cover what's left of the board, the entire 62 squares. And because you have just the right number of pieces of wood, you cannot afford any overlaps or overhangs. So it has to be a perfect covering. So the only way to go about solving this problem is to keep trying. Keep drawing this on a piece of paper and trying to cover these squares with these rectangles. And it would be very helpful if you have some graphing paper. And you just have to keep trying. In mathematics, there's just no substitute for trying simple things. So let me try, let me give you one attempt and see how well I can do. So here we go. And here's what I recommend you do on your own until you see the solution. And so here would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, keep going, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now I have to be careful. I can't put one here because that will block this square. Lost count, but it doesn't matter. All right, let me keep trying. So here, once again, have to be careful. Here we go, trying to be as systematic as I can, getting close, almost succeeding. Okay, and, and it didn't work for me on this attempt. So I put in one attempt, so now it's your turn.